Right then, meet me Beige and get your attempt to replace the keyboard on the Acer laptop. Because it's gone. screws out the back. I know you say you aren't supposed to, but get so them out. So anyway, what we're going to do, we turn it over. Let's connect the battery. Get that out of the way. And then we've got two little screws down here. If we take these out, I don't know whether you really have to take these out, but I've been told. So we'll take these two out. Do all the ditties, put them out of the way. That's all the screws that you have to do on that. And turn him over. Open the top, and then there's this strip here. What you've got to do now is gradually lift this little strip up. Get your finger bobs under it. It's a bit awkward once you get going. There you go. And it's popped off now. So this is probably the worst part. Popping the top, a bit nerve wracking. Work your way along, it's off. So, them screws that we undone, I don't even think they've anything to do with it, but there you go. I'm taking that off. Put that behind there. Get your keyboard now. What you do now is just get your fingernail, just prise it up gradually, and it both ends pop out and then slide it forward. Slide forward, keyboard's off. And what you've got to do now is just disconnect the ribbing from there. Right now this next part it's a bit looks a bit fiddly, so I'll just zoom in. See if you can see what I'm doing. Right, zoom in. That's it. That's your motherboard and the ribbon. Now you've got to do the little clips at the side now and then that ribbon should slide out. And you've got a little screwdriver. Be very careful. Just pull that clip back and go over this side. Pull that clip back that side. And that should just pull out. There you go, it's out, it's off. Alright, so we've got that off. Now what we need to do is get the other keyboard now. There's a replacement. Can only go one way. It's a bit fiddly again. Push that into place. If you notice on these, there should be a little, like a little plastic clip that you hold on there. It's stronger than the ribbon, so you just push that in. There you go, it's pushed in. And then you just push the clip back. Has that gone in? It's gone that way a bit. There, just push. there you go, it's going. The ribbon goes flat. And then just slide it in. Till they line up. Click. Right, so now we've got the keyboard in place. It's clicked in. It just seems like it's up there, but that just goes down when you put the, this piece back, back, back in it. So from the end that you left it off last. Just place it in place. Gradually go along, don't be frightened of it. That's it. That's it, it's clicked on. You feel it just locate, it's gone in place. That's on. Close it back over. Back. 
two screws which I don't think you really need to take out but let me take them out Just send them back in Back over, open her up. Right then, Julie, do you want to just try it? See if it works, if I've done it right. See if it's typing. Going back and everything back space. I don't know if they hear anything, I've got a clue. <clears throat> Let's see if your back space works. Yeah. Well, there you go then. That's how you put your new keyboard on. <laughs>